Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 9th of March at the magnificent Bolsworth Castle in Cheshire. Hi everybody, welcome back to Rich Reviews. And you join us on the way to Rybrook, Bristol to take our Lotus Amira in to have the nine issues remediated. Yep, finally, the car's going in to have all these problems resolved. And I know we banged on a lot about these problems and I'm sure you're getting wary about it. And some people have even said, well, looks like you've bought that car with all those problems known about so you can create content on it. Of course not. Of course I knew about the three main issues which were the windscreen, the climate control resistor pack and the osmosis on the rear engine cover and I, I bought the car with those items to get it cheaper because I got it for around £22,000 cheaper than I would have paid about a year ago brand new and it only adds 800 odd miles on the car. So the remaining items came forward just through the ownership experience through driving the car and I guess that's Lotus for you and of course I'm reporting back the ownership experience to you so that you have an appreciation of these issues so if they come forward on your car you know what to do and you know how to resolve them and what I'm finding is that people who are interested in these issues so that's people who either own a Lotus Amira or are likely to buy a Lotus Amira are very keen on are very keen on these updates because of course it's providing very very valid information to them for their future purchase history and a lot of you Lotus owners you're going to have these issues and of course then it comes down to how the Lotus dealerships and Lotus themselves resolve the problems and I'm finding that Rybrook Bristol is absolutely exceptional at the moment. I'll give you an update when we get the car back with regards to how the issues have been resolved. But at the moment, Rybrook Bristol have been absolutely brilliant and they've mitigated all the weaknesses in effect with Lotus Customer Services. Lotus Customer Services seem to be the weak point here. It seems to me that it seems to me that the Lotus designers and the Lotus engineers can design and build a great car Yes, there's quality control issues, but there's always going to be quality control issues on a new car. The real weakness is Lotus customer services. This is the front end of Lotus. The back end system, if you like the back office or the engineering side, are really knowledgeable and really good. And I think that's always been the way with regards to Lotus. That's always been the problem. And of course, that's the problem that I'm finding here. That's the issues that I'm noting. So we're taking the car to the dealership now to Rybrook, Bristol. Again, gold star, massive gold star for Rybrook, Bristol. Been very, very supportive and very, very helpful to us in getting these issues remediated and, and in liaising with the right people at Lotus. And we're gonna be picking up a courtesy car which has been arranged by the dealership directly with Lotus. And Lotus are paying for that courtesy car. So that's very good of them to do that. But again, you know, it's not my fault that these issues exist with this car. And we're picking up, I believe it's a brand new BMW 3 Series. And when we get in the 3 Series, we provide you a bit of content about that car. And we'll talk you through the process of handing the car over for these issues to be resolved. And of course, once these issues are resolved, we'll provide you an update on that experience and you know how the car's been looked after while it's at the dealership and how those individual issues have been resolved and if those problems come back again. You have reached your destination. So you join us in a workshop at Rybrook Lotus Bristol. Rybrook, by the way, has now been rebranded. They've sold Rybrook and it's now Ryland. So future, I'm gonna, gonna um, refer to them as Ryland. So you join us at Ryland Lotus Bristol in the workshop area. They've provided us with unprecedented access to be able to show you the parts that are actually gonna be fitted to our car. So here you can see, this is the new engine cover lid. Brand new engine cover lid, no osmosis. This is the exterior part of the engine cover. No osmosis anywhere, perfect colouring, no issues. Hopefully the colour will be a perfect match. We won't know until it's on the car, but they, they, um, they tell me that it should be a really good match. There shouldn't be an issue. So that's obviously the rear screen that goes fitted into the engine cover with the heating element. 
If we move across to this massive box here, this is our new front windscreen. So this is the new front windscreen that's going to be fitted. This is the item that costs around £2,000 just for the glass. Incredible. And this is how it's provided. This is how it's packed. So you're getting unprecedented access to how these parts are delivered. Pretty incredible, eh? We're absolutely amazed that we've been provisioned this access and really pleased. Thanks, thanks very much again to Ryland Bristol. They're really looking after us. Really, really good of them. Now, moving across, remember our climate control problem where the resistor pack had failed and we were getting the fan working either on or off positions? This is the infamous resistor pack. So this is the item that fails. Excuse the outside noise because this is a working workshop so you're going to hear cars starting up and moving around. So this is the resistor pack. Obviously this is the, this is the um, heat sink. So this disperses the heat from the resistor pack. So the resistor pack is actually in here. Um, I'm not quite sure what actually part short out. I guess, I guess the water gets ingress into here somehow down the wiring system and it shorts out these, these connections. But I'm just making an assumption there. But yeah, the infamous resistor pack. Right, that 10 grand supercharger replacement, remember we had that issue. And then finally, Matt here at, at Ryland Bristol managed to liaise with Lotus and get that resolved. So they provided the parts. This, these two of them we've got now, this is the friggin, this is the part. So just a thread bar. One of the guys in the comments um, recently on a video corrected me, it isn't a thread rod, it's a thread bar. So thanks very much for providing that update. This is it. I mean, it's so small and insignificant, you know, you <laughs> all those issues over the fact of that single bloody thread rod or thread bar. Friggin' nightmare. And our climate control issues with regards to the stiff buttons, they're fitting a whole new climate control fascia panel. So this is the new unit. So it actually is fitted that way up. So you've got the temperature control there and that feels lovely and smooth. No more stiffness. And that's lovely and smooth as well. So that's the fan control. And that's the temperature control. That is sweet. So that's going to resolve that problem. They're fitting a whole new front panel. And these are just parts. These are just installation parts that align with the other bits and pieces. Just some other bits and pieces here. But as you can see, you know, the real problem with Lotus isn't the engineers and isn't the designers because once you get interfaces with the engineers and the designers and you find yourself a very good lotus dealership as we have with rybrook slash ryland lotus bristol then you can get issues resolved and they provide new parts they're not skimping on how they actually repair the issues they're actually providing whole new parts a whole new windscreen two thousand pounds for that windscreen and probably around 500 to 1,000 pounds for the fitting. So Rob, probably around two and a half to three grand just for the windscreen. Don't know how much the rear engine cover costs, but that isn't going to be cheap because of course, Tajin, um, the company that Lotus outsourced to create these panels called Tajin, who create these panels in France, but they're based in Portugal, the company, but the actual parts are manufactured. The panels are manufactured in France. That's not going to be cheap. And of course the climate control systems with the resistor pack and the front fascia panel with the new knobs on there. Very impressed with the setup here and how they're looking to resolve the problems and hopefully this will all be fitted within this week now that they've got the car for and it'll all be resolved. I'll be able to report back to you very positively on how the, on how the engine cover's been installed, how the front windscreen's been installed with no issues and the HVAC climate control systems and of course the infamous supercharger thread bar. We're now in our brand new BMW 3 Series courtesy car, kindly provided to us by Rybrook Bristol Lotus. So great stuff, brand new BMW 3 Series. We've uh, <laughs> taken us about five minutes to understand everything. And we've got these good old bloody safety speed warnings coming up all the time for doing anything over slightly even in the vicinity of the speed limit. So we're going to have to try and switch that flipping lot out, but um, great car so far. I mean, we literally just got into the car, so we've just picked it up and we're just doing our first drive now. Going to go and get a coffee. The usual thing, go and get a coffee. Seems to be a YouTuber trait. But yeah, very nice car. Very, very impressed with Rybrook Bristol. Again, looked after us really well. It just in incredibly impressive. If only Lotus Direct were like that. If only Lotus took a book 
out of Rybrook, Bristol and dealerships like Rybrook, Bristol, none of these issues with regards to Lotus would exist. Customers would be happy and there'd be no problems. There'd be a lot of, lot of leeway given um, and no issues, but unfortunately that's not the situation. Come on Lotus, get your frigging act together. When you've got dealerships like Rybrook, Bristol that can really look after their customers, there shouldn't really be a problem. And we've got that beeping going on at the moment because we're in the vicinity of the speed limit and the safety controls on these modern cars, they freaking are a nightmare. All this lane assist and this speed limit bloody warning. Oh God, that's my head in along with, of course, touch screens, but it is what it is. It's actually a good sat satellite navigate. It's, it's actually a good satellite navigation system on this by the look of it. Um, first impressions of the brakes, not very good, <laughs> but it is an automatic. Then we've got an Aston Martin Vantage just there by the side of us. Beautiful car. Why is it Aston Martins are always grey or green? Why is that? Somebody, somebody let me know in the comments below why Aston Martins are always grey or silver or, or um, yeah, dark green. Dark green's all right, but why grey and silver all the time? Don't quite get that, but... Uh, because they're not specced by anyone under the age of 60. Yeah, well, Jacob's just saying because they're not specced by anybody under the age of 60. I never said that. Our videographer said that. That wasn't me, guys. <laughs> now I'll give you a, a sneaky peek of what's to come because speaking with Lotus today, not only did they give us unprecedented access to their workshop to see the parts that are going to be fitted to our car, but we've also agreed with them that we can have access to the workshop to see the car having the parts fitted. Can you believe that? Rybrook Bristol are allowing us access to see the parts being fitted to our car. That is unprecedented access. What other dealership would provide that to a YouTuber? Absolutely brilliant. Really, really chuffed. Again, I know I keep saying it guys, but get yourself a really reliable, good Lotus dealership and they will resolve a lot of these problems that exist with Lotus Direct. They'll sort the problems out for you. Again, thanks very much to Rybrook Bristol. I know I keep saying that, guys, but they've been outstanding in helping us resolve these problems and move these issues forward, whereas Lotus customer services have been absolutely abysmal. So if you're buying a Lotus, get yourself a great Lotus dealership. Anyway, we're going to end this up now because I've waffled on a hell of a lot and waffled on enough. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and you'll catch us in the next Lotus video, which is almost certainly going to be with us back at Rybrook Bristol Lotus workshop with bringing you unprecedented access to seeing the parts being fitted to our Lotus Amira. Super cool!